Yo, what's poppin'? It's your boy Sammy, Sammy Baby, and right now you're locked in with PowTV.net. Harlem reppin' right now. What's poppin'? What's good? What you doing out here, bro? Man, I've been in New York for like three days now. Um, we just dropped a mixtape, Insomnia, doing crazy numbers on the net right now. You can get it at datpiff.com, livemixtapes.com. This is R&B, Singers Room, etc. It's everywhere, man. I'm just happy that everybody's supporting real music. Um, it's my first body of work in two years via EPs and uh, mixtapes or whatever that I released. But I took my time with it, and uh, to see that it's been well received, it, it humbles me, and I'm forever grateful. All right, you got any features on it? Just my dude, man. It's like my brother. He's my little brother. Uh, his name's Blake Kelly. He lives in VA. He's real dope. He's the next big thing. I'm, I'm saying it now. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and as you can see, he's the only feature. I want him to focus just to be on myself and to be vulnerable and, and, and you know, in a, in a sense, uh, quote, unquote, naked with my fans just to let them know, you know, what mind frame I'm in. And I didn't want to be, uh, you know, exclusive at all. I kind of wanted to be transparent. And uh, I think that's why they love it so much is because it's real genuine. No fabricated stories is everything that I went through. Yeah, nine years, man. Nine years. So, people see you basically grow up. Yeah. Grow up in front of like, how do you separate the Sammy back then from the grown man? Man, I was a baby. You know, I was 12 years old when I got my first deal. You know, um, I like it went number one when I was 12. I went platinum at the age of 13. Then I took those four years off after uh, I did the hardball joint um, with uh, Wayne, Zane, and Bow Wow. Just to have a sense of normalcy. And then I came back when I was 18 with You Should Be My Girl, Come With Me, Kiss Me Through the Phone when I was 21 with Soulja Boy. So, you know, I've been in and out, but it's, it's, it's been a blessing because every record that worked for me meant something to the people, you know? And I think that's what build careers is when you're able to go and do a catalog from 1999 pretty much all the way to 2012, you know? So glory be to God for that and my fans that's been supporting me and allowing me to grow up. I know a lot of child stars that can't get out of that, that box. I'm just happy that I'm able to, you know, talk about what 25 year olds do. Yeah, and you seem pretty normal, like. Yeah, I'm real. I'm face. real. I'm real. I'm not doing no tattoos on my face. I'm not doing no tattoos on my neck. I'm not. I, I'm not controversial at all. I got all my marbles. You know what I'm saying? I'm big on intellect. You know what I'm saying? I don't think that you have to. I don't want to draw too much attention to myself outside of something being positive and keeping a sense of integrity. And I'm just naturally talented. God gave me that, you know, and I feel like my voice and my lyrical content and my music can speak for itself. So I don't have to draw, you know, too much attention to myself outside of what I'm trying to uh, get across. So how do you, like, manage to stay normal, stay sane? It's easy now because uh, me taking those four years off after my first album, I was really, I wasn't musically involved at all. I wasn't rehearsing, wasn't singing for real. I just was being a student. You know, I went to high school, played basketball two years, homecoming king, uh, was in the choir. You know, that's the only thing I was doing that was musical. But I don't know, man, meeting real people, you know what I'm saying, real friends and developing real friendships and relationships that last throughout to this day is what kept me normal, you know. And now I, I know fame comes and goes, money comes and goes. That's not my motive. I want to be one of the best singers and songwriters of my time. And um, everything else, man, I'm just trying to live life and be happy and smile and enjoy this thing we call Earth. All right, so, you know, I, I ran through your Twitter. Uh-huh. Yeah, I hope, man. I, I and I drop buckets. I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna put it real, real clear out there on the forefront. I ain't trying to cross you and just get the oohs and ahs. I'm trying to drop buckets. I do that. Point guard. It's whoever. It's whoever wanted. You know, I played ball when we were like you we were younger though. We were like 15, 16, and Jermaine Dupri can contest to this. They all came and watched me demolish Bow Wow. You know, Bow don't want it. Uh, Chris Brown got a nice little game. I haven't played Chris, but I, I can see he he not dunking on this way. Like he he can hoop, but he not dunking on me. But I, I would play Breezy. You know, I, I think that he got game. Um, but anybody can get it. You know, I, I I'm the best pretty much at everything I do. So uh, anybody that wants to take that challenge, I'm right here. It's all day easy. Let's just get a hoop, lace them up, and let's do it. All right, as far as the music, like, are you careful with who you? I think I think I think you just have to be careful with your brand. You know what I'm saying? Um every time I do a record though I go hard, you know, regardless of what the other person do. I wanna make sure that the the Sammy brand is, is well executed to the maximum of, of its potential. You know what I'm saying? But uh, I think you do have to be selective who you work with, um, both politically as well as just 
protecting that brand, man, and keeping it A1, you know? So I, I definitely factor in a lot of things when it comes down to collabing with certain people. Um, but again, every time, I never half step. I always give 100% when I step in the booth. Uh, you know, uh, I'm not really a rapper. You know, um, a lot of R&B dudes is rapping. I think Chris and Trey are definitely holding it down from that. But they they do that. You know, that's their thing. I'm a singer all day, every day. I'm a crooner, so I'm gonna stay in my lane on that one. You know, I could rap a little bit, but that's not my thing at all. Like like my thing is definitely to sing and serenade and croon to the girls. Okay, so um, you got the foundation. Yeah, same as you, foundation. Uh, started in 09. We go to inner city schools in uh, Atlanta, Georgia, just to talk about education, uh, the importance of appreciating the free education. Because you know, once you graduate, and, and depending on your scholarship and how that works out, you may have to pay. You know, and Sally May will be calling you. And I just think it's very essential, man, to grasp as much education and knowledge and wisdom as you possibly can, and then to be involved in two. Uh, the other extracurricular activities, such as it, it could be sports, it could be, uh, you know, little renaissance programs that you have. I just think we should stay busy, keep the kids out the streets, keep them positive, and um, keeping them hopeful that they have a, a bright future. That's the, that's the most important thing about it all. Yeah, I just want to say I love y'all, man. We out here. Insomnia, PrinceSammy.com. Make sure you get it. Uh, the Instagram is Prince Sammy as well as my Twitter. So follow the kid. I do follow back, and I'm loving y'all for loving me, and I'm forever grateful. Thank y'all, and shout out to Pow TV again for having me. You dig that? Uh, you got, uh, like, a little goodie bag right here from, uh, yeah. First Class Clothing out here. Yeah, yeah. Swag. Got you some Swaggy. Let me show that on camera. Yeah. Come co signing I appreciate that. I'm going to make sure to rock it. I'm going to rock it while I'm in the city. I'm going to rock it tonight when I go out. Thank you, thank you. And I appreciate y'all again, man. Shout out to Pow TV. God is love.